Welcome! This video will show you how to use Zotero to create an APA formatted annotated bibliography in just a few easy steps. First, create a collection. Start by creating a collection in Zotero for the articles that will be included in your annotated bibliography. Be sure to save all of your articles in this collection or drag and drop them into the collection from your library. Second, double check the information that has been saved for all of your articles by Zotero. Be sure the title for each article is in sentence case. Be sure there isn't any information missing. Third, prepare your Word document with your title page and your annotated bibliography is going to start on the second page. Now I will show you these steps in a quick live demonstration. This is my Zotero with all of my different folders. Um, a folder is basically a collection. If you need to start a new collection, you would click on the picture of the little folder in the upper left-hand corner, and then you will name your collection. I already have a collection. Um, it's titled here, Servant Leadership. I have eight or nine articles already saved, and I have double-checked that all the information in the that Zotero has saved is correct so that when the citations are created they will be correct. The next step is to right click on servant leadership and you are going to select create bibliography from collection. Then it will ask you uh, what citation style and you will choose APA 7th edition and then click OK. Make sure you have selected copy to clipboard and then you are simply going to paste it into your document. Now we are ready to paste the bibliography that has been created by Zotero into our document. You should have your correct title page. If you are in an MBA or DBA class, this is what it should look like. Then you should have the title, Annotated Bibliography, on the second page on the very first line. Then make sure that your cursor is on the very next line right underneath the title. Your page should be double spaced and then you might need to just fix the spacing and indenting after you do the paste. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to simply go to Command V and that will paste all the information. Now you might have noticed that it didn't do the proper hanging indent, but it is double spaced. Um, everything about it is correct except for that hanging indent. So we can fix that by highlighting it. We're just gonna highlight all of those citations. If we go to line spacing options, we can choose special hanging indent. Now it is a perfect bibliography. Now what we need to do is add the annotations. So the easiest thing to do is start at the line right underneath that and that is where you are going to put your annotation right underneath of it. You do not indent the first paragraph and uh, if you need to see an example there is one that is posted in your course with the annotations. If you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to your class librarian Christine Woods. The contact information has been posted in your course and emailed to you.